What's up, YouTube? Today, I got a performance review on a crazy, crazy shoe that reminded me of another crazy shoe I had way back in the day. But this is the performance review on the Nike Zoom Freak 2. So, starting off with the traction, man, it was solid. It didn't bite super hard, but it didn't fail me at any point. Like, it picked up a ton of dust, but it came off every single time I wiped. Like, just one wipe, all the dust would be gone. It really, like, the whole shoe reminded me of, like, the first Kobe 5s that came out, not the Pro Tro, but just that same type of grip. Really consistent. These might have been a little bit better because I didn't have any slip outs at all on these, but real consistent without the hardest bite, but I was still very impressed just at it, just in comparison to last year's crazy. Our cushion, we do have our regular EVA foam, internal TPU plate, and then a zoom in the forefoot. Like again, like it reminded me of that first Kobe 5. I couldn't really feel the zoom in the forefoot, but it was pretty comfortable. Like I didn't have any pain. It did like, it made my, my joints tired, you know, the days afterwards, but during the play, a really enjoyable shoe. The fit, man, so these will go true to size. My toes were right at the edge here and they run a little bit narrow, but it did break in. So it broke in pretty quick. I didn't have that same pain and this was within the same game. So it started out squeezing at first and then it, it just broke in and it just felt perfect. Just, just like a Kobe 5, it was really enjoyable and it really allowed me to play my game. I ended up playing these in these a lot longer than I intended just because I had so much fun with it a lot of textiles as you you guys know that textiles they really just they fit good and a lot of times they're comfortable while remaining cheap and so these retailing at 130 and 120 in the other colorways is crazy it's just you get so much bang for your buck in this I know it's not a ton of technologies but it really it really is great for you to play your game in. So as far as durability, I honestly think you guys could take these outside. I don't have any fraying. I mean, I only play indoors, honestly, but there's no fraying at all. A lot of dust pickup, nothing wrong on the toe there. No scuffs or anything. Same thing on the other side. Just, yeah, you know, if you have a lot of toe drag, you might see that in, in the textiles on the toe. But I think those these will do the job. And at, at 120, it, it's a viable choice for indoor and outdoor. So as far as support, I really didn't have anything that pointed toward negatives. You sit kind of inside the cushion and, you know, the leather pieces fake leather pieces they really do hold you in laterally the fit was amazing as far as the shoe goes that's probably as supportive supportive as you can get without adding extra features as, as far as the aesthetic of the shoe like I love the materials and the colorway I don't think it's the most you know like eye-pleasing shoe honestly but any shoe that performs really well like I can't I can't tell you guys not to to buy so is it hoopable it's so hoopable man this shoe took me back to a day where I could actually play really good basketball and I enjoyed it so much I had an amazing time in these shoes super comfortable traction really solid overall even on dusty courts let me know what you guys think is this a must cop for you do you like this colorway are we looking at other colorways and if you want to see more performance reviews you guys want to see anything else some unboxings on my channels please subscribe and thanks for watching guys